Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be hosting a Django application that is built by using the Tailwind CSS library on cPanel. Okay, uh, so let's see uh, a demo of this application that I have built here. It is a simple application uh, built on Django framework, uh, again using Tailwind CSS. Uh, it has the CRUD operations that we uh, typically have in web applications like adding a task, performing delete operations and uh, updating the status of tasks. So with that, uh, let's move on to the steps. So the first step will be to install white noise. Basically white noise takes care of the static files during the production build of the project. So I have installed this here, as you can see. Uh, then I need to configure this white noise package. So the first thing that I want to do is, uh, I want to include it in the middlewares, just below the security middleware. Uh, the middleware name is written here, like white noise dot middleware dot white noise middleware. So I'll put this in the description so you can simply copy and paste it. Then moving on to the next step, uh, we actually need to create a requirement file. So using the command line, I'll write Python or I'll say pip freeze and uh, in pipe this into requirements.txt. So it will generate a requirements.txt file as you can see here that will contain all my dependencies. So with that, uh, now let's move on to configuring our application uh, in the settings.py. So the first thing that I can do is uh, set the debug to false and uh, provide a allowed host. So allowed host are basi is basically your domain name that you would get from your cPanel, including the subdomain uh, that you're using for the cPanel. So I have already created a subdomain on my cPanel that is to do dot uh, this particular domain dot com and uh, then I need to con uh, configure the static URL as static and static root as base directory plus static. So that that's what I want my static URL root to be. Now with that done, I also need to include a URL into my URLs list. Uh, so I'll include it in my main project URLs file. So this URL, I'll also paste it in the description so you can copy this as well. Uh, simply add it to the end of the URL patterns. And we also need to import some things from, uh, so let's copy these import statements as well. Okay. So with that done, I think we are uh, ready to move to the next step. So the next step is to build the Tailwind bundle since this is a Tailwind project. Uh, so we need to build the Tailwind uh, CSS first. If this was not a Tailwind project, you could simply skip this step. So I'll write python manage.py tailwind build. I'm using Django Tailwind package for this thing. Uh, extremely uh, good package for uh, working with the Tailwind CSS in Django. So as you can see, it has generated a, a styles.css file for me. And with that, we are ready to go. Now uh, let's go outside the project folder and create the zip of a project. So uh, moving outside, uh, I'm in my file explorer right now. So going outside, I can simply create a zip of my uh, folder so I don't want to actually open the CMD but simply zip this out so you can also use the windows file zipping tool uh, for this I am using 7-zip now I am logging into my cPanel account uh, you should have bought it using some uh, hosting provider like Namecheap and it should look something like this for you. Now I want you to go to the file manager, open the file manager. Uh, inside of this you might have a lot of folders uh, but so I'll create a new folder here. So I'll create a new folder, uh, name it something like test or something or to do, let's call it to do. create this folder for us and uh, 
now we can paste the name here and uh, simply go inside that folder so we are in this directory and it is completely empty here so what i want to do is uh, this file is zipped already so i want to upload this file right uh, so there is there would be upload command here uh, upload button here actually so press the upload button and something like this should appear uh, you can drop your zip file here and wait for it to upload completely and one tip i have here is that you need to wait until the bar turns green uh, as you will see it will uh, go to 100% but it will still be blue as you can see here so wait till it turns green uh, right now and then you can uh, close this page and your file has been uploaded successfully so now if i hit refresh or reload i'll see my project file uploaded here so i simply want to extract it nothing else uh, extract the files so once this is done you know, it should look something like this so i also can rename it like this and it has the entire project inside of it including the requirements.txt file okay uh, now i want to create a new python application so i'll search for python set up python app and this should give you a list of uh, already created web applications using python i have here one here uh, so i'll create a new application here so first of all select the python version uh, i'm using 3.8.6 and then the application root you need to select so our application root will be to do slash to do project uh, in the file manager you can see it like this you can simply copy and paste that uh, also the url uh, i need to select the subdomain uh, on which i want to uh, host this application so i've already created this subdomain uh, prior to this uh, recording this video so i'm using that you can create your own subdomain uh, if you wish so and then simply hit create leave both of the last two fields empty so once your application has been created successful pop-up will be appearing like this and the last two fields will be automatically filled up like this so don't need to touch them uh, we are uh, done for the most parts here and you can open your application uh, and it says it works python 3.8.6 and you have successfully created a new uh, python application inside your cpanel now now we need to uh, configure django with it okay so python application has been created we need to configure django and before that uh, let's install requirements so let's go to the execute python script add it and then run pip install So this will simply install the requirements file. Now this might uh, result in some errors for some uh, users uh, and uh, for the most cases if you have followed the steps correctly it will not. As you can see uh, pip install has completed successfully but if it does you, you can also go to the command uh, control panel or the terminal which the cpanel provides and uh, install the script from there install all the dependencies run all your scripts from there and uh, pretty much do most of the things but if you followed it correctly uh, nothing should happen like that you should not be worrying about it okay uh, moving on now let's open the passenger.psg file passenger underscore psg file actually uh, let's open it in edit mode and as you can see here uh, the code it says it works right so here is this thing written exactly this is the application it is responding passenger.whisky file so we need to comment this entire thing out and we need to import our own application so write from your project name dot whisky okay uh, the project name will be uh, the project name of your entire Django application, right? So from your project name dot basically import application, save the changes. Once you save the changes and uh, try to hit refresh here. So this is the basic file actually uh, that was, uh, that we imported and this is the application variable uh, that we imported right now. Let's try to hit refresh and uh, nothing is happening. 
uh it it said bad request uh, so something should have gone wrong uh let's try to figure that out there are a lot of things that can go wrong in these kinds of uh, deployments uh and we can we can always check them one by one actually uh, so let's check out the settings.py file if there's something wrong with it uh, we have correctly added the uh, debug is false let's let's set it to true and see if, if something comes up let's refresh it I think we need to restart this application actually this python application that we created let's it restart now let's uh, try to refresh the page and you see uh, there is something uh, invalid http host uh, the domain name you may need to add this to allowed host so but it is already added to allowed host right Okay, so I have written to do dot. The subdomain is to do, and here I'm using the subdomain test. So this is my fault, and I should change the subdomain to test. Save changes, and if the changes do not occur to you, just restart the application. And as you see here, uh, I have my application being served here. Uh, but if you notice, the static files are missing. It is not serving the static files right now. Uh, it's just the HTML content of the project. So there is some other uh, issue with this. Let's try to figure that out. Uh, it actually logged me out, so I'm logging it again. Uh, let me go back to where I was. So I'm going to the terminal here, and uh, I think we have we also need to run the correct static command here. Uh, edit go to the edit of this application and copy this thing uh, copy the uh, command to actually go into the terminal and open the virtual environment okay so now we are in the virtual environment inside the terminal so I can write here python manage dot back collect static it is saying 131 static files copied to uh, this static folder. And if you try to hit a refresh and congrats, you have just deployed your uh, Django application successfully. On cPanel and also your admin panel is also working. Now there are a lot of things you can do uh, apart from this like for example in some cases your uh, terminal might not be there in your cpanel so there is a guide to uh, how to enable that terminal and uh, for example you might want to use postgres so uh, you can also use postgres as a database so i've also said debug as false here okay if you haven't uh, just set the debug as false and it should work correctly so that was it from my side guys if you have any other questions like postgres or mysql or any other kind of query you have you can leave it down in the comments below and i'll make sure to check them out so thank you and stay tuned